currently my grade is kindergarten uh, intervention teacher at Inglewood Elementary. I started subbing and uh, one day at my alma mater, Oak Ridge High School, my favorite teacher said to me, hey, uh, have you ever thought about teaching? And I said, no. He said, well, the kids seem to like you and, you know, you have energy. And I was but about 23, 24. And so he gave my name and whammo bammo, you know, I went from being graduating in 1984 to being a teacher in 1990. So now my teachers were my colleagues. Children, our students, you know, we might be uh, the only safe place in their whole life. Those six or seven hours, and maybe they stay longer, but those, those hours from eight to three, those for some of those children, that might be the safest place that they feel. That might be the, the most secure and the most caring place that they have in their life. And sometimes we forget about that. Just remember, just have that empathy and remember that that child, you don't know what they're going home to. You have no idea. And you might be that one place that they feel the safest and the most cared about in, in their life. Oh goodness, uh, the, the amount of stuff, definitely. Uh, also, slowly, you know, it's, it's gone from the paper pencil because every time you walk in, they give you a clipboard, a piece of paper, and then you have your pencil. And uh, you went at it and you would just tick and mark, go down, make sure you got it right now. Oh my goodness, uh, you, you, you can shop like 30 minutes, you're already done. You can just go fast and scan everything. Also, the curbside, you know, back then there was no such thing, you know, uh, being able to pick up boxes for other teachers as well. So those are some of the small changes. Plus, of course, the building, how beautiful it is now compared to before and all the renovations. You would have a lot of sad students, a lot of sad parents, a lot of sad teachers. I mean, uh, I've, ta I've talked to my friends in other states and stuff and they're amazed. They're like, what? You do what? You get what free? How much? And I'll email them the uh, receipt, you know? Like, and I'm like, look how much I save. And I showed them the receipt for last shop, $1,029. That's not a small amount, you know? And uh, teachers, we don't have a thousand, five hundred, three hundred, two hundred dollars to be going out and, and buying. Even if you go to the you know, the dollar twenty-five tree, it you know, you it still costs money, you know. So I mean, it would be it would be very, uh, it would crush a lot a lot of teachers. I know that. I mean, where else? Well, I know Osceola, but where else in other states and stuff? When I tell people about this, they they say it's unheard of that teachers are are given this opportunity to come here and get all these resources donated and then be able to take them to our kids. Oh my goodness, I can't thank you guys enough. I, I would probably say, you know, over 30 years and been shopping, I probably spend like 30 G's here. Think about that, that's a lot of money. So I cannot thank you guys enough and I can't thank you enough for our children. Your donorship helps to provide resources for those students that may not have anything. They might get that one backpack and they're set for the whole year because they keep it clean and they, that notebook and that composition book and those pencils stay there because they value that and they cherish that and they know, you know, that that's worth something. So thank you so much and please, please don't stop. <laughs>